Good morning all. It's been a while since we've started a video like this, hasn't it? Uh, yes, I have my Steve Jobs on today. I'm feeling very mogulish. Um, gonna go charity shopping today. I've got a few orders that I need to pick first. I remember we used to pick all our orders together, didn't we? Haven't done that for a while. But uh, you know, it is what it is. I've had a bit of a bit of a change around in a few things. Uh, I'm gonna try and find them while I'm with you, but um, ah, uh, first one to go out is just a pair of Apple headphones, the 3.5 millimeter jack with microphone and remote. Nothing spectacular. They sold for nine pounds. Um, these I've never heard of this brand before, but they were yellow. They felt quite thick, quite well made. Uh, yellow miles, yellow without a W, just yellow, yellow miles. Uh, they're leather size 10, tan color, disgusting. Paid six pounds for them, sold them for 29.99 plus postage. Uh, next up was this vintage ice bucket. I've already sold one. I paid four pound each for them a little while ago. This one sold for 20 pounds plus postage um, on an offer. I'm glad to see it go to be for not, There wasn't worth as much as I thought they was. This one does have damage. Quite a lot of damage, actually. More damage than I've actually disclosed, which is quite worrying. Damn it, I didn't, didn't see that before. We made an offer because it has got some damage here. So we... Oh, sorry, it's the watch shop getting in the way. Sorry. Sorry, Jess. Um, had some damage just there. So we accepted an offer. However, I didn't see it had more damage across the bottom of the rim there. I'll have to send him a message and see what he wants to do about that. And last but not least is some very old retail arbitrage. Massive fail. Um, these 2009 Ghostbusters figures paid $7.99 each, I think. Uh, I've been selling this sold for nine pound. So after after shipping, after fees, etc. etc. I've made uh, zero negative equity. Which isn't a great business model, guys. So um please don't follow me for any of your uh financial advices or but I'm gonna try and be really clever now and like hoof that back up there when I'm be ready. One two <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite. Right, I'm going to get these packed up and then we're going to go out and hit a couple of charity shops and then come back to you guys, see if we find anything. Hopefully we do, but I've got to do a video to check it anyway because it has been a little while. Um, in fact, the last video I made was when James and Kieran came down to see me and as you can tell, they have worn me out. Okay, they drained me. So much so that I couldn't even do another video. But um, yeah, let's get this packed up. And I'll see you soon. Hold me to the moon. Well, that was actually... Very quick indeed. I've, I've, I haven't packed the um, ice bucket because I don't know what he's going to want to do about that. Because it's my bad. I didn't see it. Oh. Of course my car's locked. I didn't see it, so I'm not going to pack it just yet. Uh, I'm going to go and print the labels and then get these chipped off and then we'll go see what we can find. Just dropped off the parcels. I bought me a little scratchy scratchy the other day and our oh, man's in the money. Um, no, seriously, like, cash is good for me today because I'm going to a couple of shops which just did in cash. Um, so, although technically I spent the money out of my personal money and bought a scratch card and won £25, I'm going to go put that back into the business. That's just life. That means that is not a... Uh, it's not going to weigh up. But to my detriment, not to anybody else's. Um, so yeah, I am working on a video actually to show you how I use my QuickBooks. So don't forget to check out the link in the description below and put in the code to get your discount. Otherwise, you'll be screwed because you'll wish that you did. Good things are happening in the crypto space at the minute. Um, yeah, don't forget to check it out. If you're self-employed, so important to have something to track and get ready for the end of the year and quickbooks does just that does me wonders i am sloppy i am rubbish even with quickbooks i'm so sloppy when the boys come to look at my accounts they'll be like what the hell but that's down to me um i'm looking at that thinking why am i not utilizing that properly um, but i've been working on that it's a habit that i'm breaking and 
I'm really enjoying my journey with it at the minute. So I'll be doing a video this month just, just to show you in a little, I can't show you too much because my personal details are on there, but just to show you a little bit about how I use the app, why I like it. It's like, it's <laughs> once you get into a routine of checking it, like you do Twitter and Facebook, whatever else you're flipping on, um, myself included, mine is refreshing uh, Trust Wallet, but once you get into the habit of just checking it and add it, adding adding things into it, like you do your daily routine, um, it's fantastic. So keep an eye for that one. Anyway, I'm going shopping. It's half past nine. So I want to find some stuff. First one down. Morning. How are you, UK? That was rubbish in there. I'm not going to waste time going around giving you footage of rubbish stuff. So I will just move on to the next one. It's probably not, but don't need it like a copper. Just we are me. we are at my favourite spot. Uh, some of you will recognise Aladdin's Cave. Um, it's my favourite. Don't always get a lot of stuff out of here, but when I do, I really I really like what I get. Shut up. Get a basket for once. Oh my gosh, what's happening there? They are wicked. You know, you know, of course it would. Well, it's my four favourite letters in the world, that is. Um, since when did R2D2 get a career change? What says here, R2D2 dealer? There you go, take it all off. I wonder what product.
I've got a scary feeling I've run out of money now. Uh, I'd rather put I'd rather put something back. I mean, we all know I'm putting nothing back. Uh, I need a bit of cash. So, brought loads in there already. Hello. Secure the bag. He must hate people going in there just using his machine and oh, leaving, yeah, surely. That, he yeah. must do. <laughs> Jesus. If I go home with just that today, uh, I'm happy, man. Oh, shh. Good I've got to post that. If I go home with just that today, I'm a happy man. What are they, 2005s? Yeah. Eat. Okay. So that is fourteen fifty then please. Thank you. I'm killing it, I've only been to two shops. So now I'm free balling because I've got stock. Uh let me go and post that letter actually. I've got stock. So I've got stuff. What do I do with it? The car's an absolute tip. Don't watch me, don't at me. Um, a lot of stuff now, so I'm gonna go to one more, or well, two more, and one more, and then one on the way home. No, just one more, I think that is it, actually. Oh, I'll cut my head off. I think it is literally, I think it is one more, and then I'll be, I'll be done, because mother-in-law's got a baby till, I think 12. It takes me half an hour to get back home, so. Last one.
You know them days where you just cannot fail going into shops? You just can't fail. I mean, let's give you a quick little what? Excuse me, mate. Come back. I've got some parcels for you. Come back, please. Thank you. We are back, homies and homets, and today we could not lose. Let me get some light on the situation and then we will go through. What's going on there? Oh, it's working now. Strange. Uh, let's let's get some, oh, I need to unpack some bags and get some stuff sorted out for you. So with the power of editing, I'll be back in a second. Are we in? We are in. Uh, I've left my notifications on again. The group's going to be hounding the, the video. So I spent about an hour and a half out today. First shop, I didn't get anything. Even though I've been saying every shop I've went into, I can't lose. It's not true. The first shop I went into, I lost. Um, but today was like a nice, really nice, it's about an hour and a half and I managed to stock up on loads of stuff. I just felt like I was getting bargain after bargain. And the last purchase, well, whew, I got very, very lucky. So where should we start? I think I'm going to start with um, some footwear. Now, these are knackered. They're Nike Skylon. They're fantastic. I mean, look at that silhouette. They're just funky, funky. They're 2005, but they have started to perish quite a lot on the sides. You can see the, the cracking and stuff, but they're still worth picking up. Three pounds paid. Price-wise on these, I'm not sure I'm going to get back. The sole is still quite nice. There's no cracking of the actual sole. It's just these... Um, it's just a rib cage on it. So three pounds, always going to pick them up. And they also came with a pair of Air Max 97s, which were also... three. Uh, I think they were three pound. Three pound. Not sure what's wrong with these yet. Why well, they were three pound, but the bubbles feel nice. Back one feels a bit flat. Was that just me being silly? Either way, I paid three pound. I should get twenty quid back on these. They're a size eight. I'll clean them up. So if anybody's interested, twenty quid. Uh, twenty quid plus posters. I think twenty twenty three ninety nine. They're yours. Um, I'm going to save that other pair of foot, footwear. Actually, no, let's, just, let's dive into it. <laughs> These are pretty much brand spanking new DMs. Uh, they're 101s. They have, I mean, they've still got the QC label inside. You can still see the quality check. That's that's how much, the, that's how little they've been worn. It looks like the one time they was warm was at Glastonbury Festival. But um, £2.75 paid. <laughs> £2.75. I think I was the charity. I was a charity. Um, I'm not too sure I'm going to get back for them, but conservatively, it's got to be 50 back there just straight away, isn't there? So that's my money back pretty much in those pair of trainers there. And those shoot, that footwear. Um, I am rushing, I do apologise. Then I'll move on to some electrics. I picked up this Pure Chrono CD, um, because Pure's a good brand. It's, it's DAB plus CD. It was six quid, 5.95. And there's probably 25, 30 quid there, maybe 35 to do a bit of research but off the top of my head you know with the ac adapter as well um it's got to be worth that so six pound into 30. i haven't checked up the model number of this one yet but i have recently just sold one of these phillips it was a slightly different model that i had paid two pound from a car boot sold it for 29.99 plus posters had positive feedback she loved it this one's a slight variant um oh that's why it's not for an iphone <laughs> uh it's got a um probably a rubbish android adapter on that but i paid six pounds uh four four ninety five so five pounds for that um it's always gonna be worth more than that not everybody's got an iphone you know not everybody's cool and uses the correct phones that life has given us stir it up um right uh next up we have let's get rid of the electrics this really cool panasonic it's not a walkman but we all call them walkmans uh panasonic this is the shockwave Yes, I do have information in front of me because I've never had never it before. So the nice hammer, I mean, the carry case is probably worth 15, 20 on its own. Um, but this is in cracking condition. It has a manual. It has uh, headphone socket adapters. Um, and it has, what else? I don't really know, I haven't looked. Um, CD storage in this. Oh, another adapter. Uh, any cash? No cash. What did I pay for this? £4.95p. It's got to be worth 20 25 isn't it? Uh, from the same shop. This is an absolute bolo. So I said it. Um, Opticron. Opti I can't say it. But these are 10 by 42 binoculars. Um, £4.95 paid. 
I'll be aiming for £80 plus on these. They're really good quality. Um, I think they are anyway. I did test them out in the shop. I've never seen this brand before. Um, but whenever I pick up binoculars, I always go for like a... There's a test that I do. I pick them up. It's like a heavy test. They've got a bit of weight to them. I know that there's some manufacturing has gone into it. So a little bit of craftsmanship, some quality there. These were heavy. Um, so for £4.95, I was picking them up no matter what. Did a bit of research. Got very excited. I'll put some screenshots up around here somewhere, of course. Um, I'll be aiming for around about 80 plus on these. There is a model. There is the exact same model. But I'm not sure what version it is. Sold for 250 so I need to do a bit of research on it. But for five quid, I'm definitely get. I'm, I won't get anything less than 80 on it. So got 80 pound back there, haven't we? Um, pocket nanny paid a pound. It'll probably get me about 13 pound, but it's just bread and butter stuff, isn't it? You know, we all need bread and butter for our beans on toast. Um, who else puts their toast in the fridge as well, or at least? But I like my toast to be cold sometimes. Depends how I'm feeling. So the butter doesn't melt. So it's like a nice thick layer of butter, and sometimes marmite. Um, I have to put it in the fridge to cool it down quicker. These, I think, I'm bonkers for that. But anyone else have any little quirks like that? Getting butter, mixing it with marmite too. So you make marmite butter, bosh, slather it on. Get one of the little um, goo pots that we all have, the little like, ice creamy things. Fill it up with that. It'll last you for a few days. Anyway, I'm waffling on. But if you've got any little weird things like that, tell me. Do you think putting toast in the fridge is weird? I don't. I think it's genius. It cools it down quicker. One pound for this Pyrex gravy boat. Not sure what it's worth, but it's got to be worth more than a pound. It's got a lovely floral design. Not too sure on the area of this one. It is JAJ, so a bit more modern, I believe. This one is a lot more vintage. This is a vintage Pyrex. It comes with a lid. It's got a dark, sort of musty look to it. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, yes, I'm not sure what it's worth, but that was one pound fifty with the lid. So I always pick it up. Always pick up Pyrex with the lid. There is some that I will pick up without a lid. This one in general picked up uh, stamps, 50p a bag. I've got other stamps that I was going to take off offline and send to an auction. So I'll just, for a quid, I'll just add that to it, bulk it up and send that to an auction. Crafted stamps sell quite well. Two harmonicas. I thought they were worth more than they were. Honor and a Honor Silvercrest. And this one is a Pro Harp. They look really old and vintage. They're not that old. Um, paid £5 for the pair. 15 quid back maybe i'm not too sure I'm, i could be looking at them wrong but i need to do a bit more research um p and k tea caddy lovely little thing it's in really good condition uh made in england they are vintage i liked it so i bought it it's worth i'm not too sure i don't know but it's gonna be worth more than my what did i pay for it more than my 4.95 isn't it let's face it um this dude, he definitely uh, doesn't have kids and looks after himself, although he looks quite fat. So I don't know how he's doing that. <laughs> I have no idea. Ah, yes. Tony Wood. This is William. It's uh, uh, a... What more can I say about it? I paid 4 95 for that as well, I think. Not too sure what it's worth. Maybe 18 20 quid, I should imagine. They're not worth as much anymore. They are worth good money still, but not worth that much. Uh, brand spanking new talking chess uh, this is sold by marks and spencer but it is the hold on excalibur oh, i can't I've pulled it the wrong way damn it it's ivan the conqueror 2 uh, by excalibur marks and spencer's obviously taken on the licensing and they've been selling it from through their shop can i get it out or not it's brand spanking. It's never been used. Um, there you go. You can see it there. Excalibur. Ivan second. Pre-owned. People are getting 30 odd pound for them, especially in the States. I will be aiming for, if it doesn't fall off there, I'll be aiming for about 50 on that. Giving it a bash. Um, cast iron. Well, it's not cast iron, but it's an iron bread bin. Um, I paid, can you see? Is it showing there? Didn't pay much at all. Uh, by a Polish company called Celesia, or Celesia, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's in fantastic condition. Paid less than a fiver for it. £50 I'm going to be aiming for that. 40 to 50 quid plus postage. And I'll get that as well. I've sold these before. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I think that's it. So I might as well show you the. Uh... Oh no, I've got clothing as well. Let me show you the clothing. 
picked up a Guinness branded shirt. Lovely little Guinness hit there. Fantastic. Paid £2.75. That's an absolute bargain. Um, I'll be I'll be product testing that for a little while first. Checked. Plus Guinness equals Wonga. I then picked up this uh, Camp Smedlik. Smlednik, I can't say. I think it's some Slovenian camp. It's on a nice vintage tag. Um, I thought it might have some provenance to somebody. Paid £3.50 for it. Didn't mind paying that. I would never normally, but I was excited by the next two items that I picked up, which you would have seen in the video. So I'm not too sure what that's worth. I need to do some research into it. And the other two that I picked up, well, I picked up this as well. I'll show you this quickly. Um, just a lovely little scarf. It's got a really nice pattern on it. It's got a bit of Paisley, well, Paisley-esque pattern running through it. It is Italian made. So I bought it. I need to do a research and find out who that crest is, but for a pound, I wasn't gonna leave that behind. And I picked up two genuine Bauman Paris shirts. They were £3.75 each. Uh, Bauman's a very good brand to be looking out for. Very high end, exactly the same sizes, which is uh, 15 slash 38, but they're just two slight variants. It's like a blue hue, this is like a white hue. Um, so I'll be selling them as a pair. I won't sell them separately. I'll sell them to somebody who wants um, a little bit of a mixed variant. So, you know, to have some variation in their shirting things. Anyway, um, last thing I bought was a packet of Pokemon cards and I pulled the big boy. Uh, this is the chase card. This is from the Vivid Voltage set. It's in mint, mint, mint condition. No, it's not. It's got a scratch on the back. You, man. Oh, well. Still, pack fresh. Scratch on the back, which is going to be from the factory. I've just sold something. Coca-Cola baseball. Nice. $12.99. Um, this here is the chase card from the Vivid Voltage set. Vivid Voltage was the set that I bought when I first got back into Pokemon as an adult, as a grown man. I got into it for flipping purposes to make money from um, because the nostalgia just isn't there for me anymore with all this new set, this new stuff. However, since my reignition into the scene to make money, I have grown to love some of the new cards as well. And one of them that I really wanted to get from the very beginning was the Pikachu VMAX Rainbow Rare from Vivid Voltage. And I always said that when I get this card, I will quit Pokemon. I've got the card now and I'm not quitting. So um, this is worth around about 200 pounds. I can't remember what it's worth exactly at the moment, but I'm going on the scene. It's got to be worth 180 to 200, maybe more. I'll have a check, I'll put some screenshots up here. You can check yourself too. Just type into, type into eBay search 188 slash 185 Pikachu VMAX. Um, so that's it for today. A grand total of about 50 pounds spent and I'm probably gonna say two, 50, three, four, five, six, maybe 700 back. Oh, seven, let's have 50, 750, eight, maybe 800 pounds back. Thank you ever so much for watching the video. I do appreciate you all fantastic. It's been a little while of me getting one out. Like I said at the beginning, those boys absolutely drained me today. It's one of the, I need to go and put some lottery on today because I've just been very, very lucky. I'm um, very, very blessed to have found what I did today and to have pulled the Pikachu. That was a complete gamble when it paid off. So 3 99 into 200 quid. I need to go and relieve duties of my mother-in-law. She's done a very good thing for me today. She's looked after Ada on a day that she wouldn't normally. To be fair, she's getting a house paid so she needs somewhere to be as well. Thank you for joining me once again. I've waffled on again, as I always do, on the goodbyes. Take care. You are all fantastic. Uh, oh, also, quickly, just before you go, there is going to be a competition video in the next on the next release. So, And that's not going to be too much of a charity shop video. It's just going to be a competition video. So keep an eye out for that one. One of the conditions is that you have watched this video at least until the end and seen this section. So comment down below, seen it, like the video, keep an eye out for the next one. It's going to be a banger. So take care. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.